What do you think of my little picnic setup? I think it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful That's the best set I've been on. It's be just it's just for you actually. Thank you. I, I appreciate the, the effort. Oh, I'm even loving the yeah. the frame and everything. Right, welcome to another episode of Make Me A Pro with me, Liam McDevitt. And today we're joined by one of the best to ever do it in the WSL. It's Bethany England. How are you doing? I'm good, thanks. How are good you? Good intro, isn't it? Yeah, Set it's the very bar good. High. Wow. Set the bar high. Big me up a bit too much. Well, nah. Is that annoying? Player, player of the year. Scored a load of goals. Yeah, not bad. Best All right, good, good yeah. Career. FA Cup final coming up. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Can't wait for it. Yeah. Well, look, Make Me A Pro, it's all about working out how the top, the very best, do it. Getting a little insight into being a professional footballer. Mm -hmm. Starting off, any superstitions? Anything that you have to do before a game to get you going? Oh, mine are very boring ones. Like, I always like to go my left sock first, my left boot first. Really? Just very generic ones, yeah, I but nothing... What's the same, right? The, the barefoot thing with a boot on, to me, is rogue. No, I would put my little under socks on and then yeah. I'd always go left sock, left boot, and then the full... Okay. Plain sock, yeah. right boot. Well, away from match day, what are you doing to you know ease your mind, switch off from football a little bit? Oh, me, I'm very boring. Me and my dogs. I'm always out walking with the dogs, chilling with the dogs. Yeah. My Dog life is the coffee, dogs. Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm that basic dog girl that everyone everyone sees. But yeah, they are they are my my go-to, my happy place, and where I can go and switch off. And how, how when would is that like a Sunday thing after or a Monday after a game? Go and take the dog. Walk, every day, the dog needs every, to walk every day. Uh, but like, that's a good way of just releasing the stress. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah, I think, up. yeah, Monday, day after a game, like recovery day, and then you just go for a nice stroll with them and that. It's always nice when the weather's like this, but when the weather's hammering it down, you think, oh, yeah. it's not the one today. <laughs> and, uh, any other sports that you enjoy, like either watching or occasionally, do you pick up like a, like a paddle racket or any of any Not other? really, but I do love badminton. Absolutely so love badminton. badminton. Is hey. like an underrated I game. absolutely love it. Drop I shot everything. Proper, yeah, cross yeah. court drop shot was mine. Ready when you are. Honest, any time. <laughs> you, we'll set it up. Yeah, it's fine. I'm ready. I'm ready. But yeah, no, I absolutely, uh, absolutely love badminton and uh, yeah. Burn, burner on the. It's like the lunges get you going. I yeah, think. you got to be yeah. agile. You got to be yeah. nippy around that court. I like a, I like a bit yeah. of badminton. And uh, obviously, video analysis is such a big part of the game now, but. Away from what you do at the club, do you watch your games back like on your own ever, or is that something that you've done? Yeah, all career? the time actually. Yeah. I'm, I think uh, my partner hates it because yeah. well, I'll get home from a game, like, have you recorded it? And I'm like, they're sat there making a rewatch the game. Um, or if we're on an away trip, usually the analysis brings me his laptop and I'll literally sit on the bus the whole way home really, yeah. watching the game because once I've watched it, I can then put it to bed. And I know I, sometimes you think you've been harsher on your performance until you watch it back or maybe it is true that you've not been as good so I just like to see it first and then. So it works both ways if you had a good game or and you think you've maybe not had such a good game you can kind of get the confidence from watching it back and then if, yeah. you, if you've had a stinker yeah. then it's like okay I know maybe what I could have done a bit, a bit Pretty more. much yeah yeah it's just I've just I can just put it to bed regardless of how it's gone or yeah. if it was good or bad I've just seen it and I'm like okay I know where I can I could have improved and and then it's put to bed. And before match day, what's a standard training week like in the in the WSL? Oh, for us, um, it's usually either one or two days off a week, depending on the club and the amount of fixtures you've got. Um, for us, uh, yeah, we'd be having a lighter day on a Tuesday, more like what you call start up day. And then we've always got our yoga in the afternoon. Robert loves us doing yoga. Are you a fan? Um, I honestly See me, no. Yoga is not. It's, it's not, not for me. Not However, for we have an amazing yoga instructor. So to be fair, she does make it fun. She yeah. will change it up based on how the team's feeling. Yeah. So I, I respect that because sometimes we just need a bit more zen rather than some of the positions are. Yin, 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 oh, yoga, yin yoga. I'm not an Anyone expert. Know? Yin yoga. I'm I not an expert, true. but she's 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 very good and yeah, I would I would highly recommend her. Um, but yeah, so. Have yoga. Wednesday, a bit more of an intense day with our gym. Thursday's overload day, really intense. All yeah, the fun stuff, less like heavy sprints, yeah. like you're hitting them distance on that GPS yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. day. Um, more gym, Friday off, um, and then match day minus one's always the fun one where you've got your rondos, a little bit of game, a little bit more tactical. Are you a rondo um, fan? I am, yeah, See, actually. Sometimes I'm taking an extra stretch. Oh just, really? Just... No, I love a rondo. We all want more rondos because it's like it gets you ready for the session. It's constant touches on the ball and you're moving around. Unless you're not very good at it, then you're always running I'm around in the middle. But <laughs> then, then I'm side tackling them. Also. No, no, I, I love a bit of rondos. Yeah, yeah. I so enjoy it. In a standard week, what 
how many sort of pitch sessions would you have and how many times would you be in the gym? In the gym, well we always do power after pre-act as well, so in the gym you're talking three or four yeah. a week, um, on the pitch, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, four, probably four. four. And your recovery, what sort of techniques work for, for you? Because every player is a little bit different. Are you ice baths, you like, like to do a bit of extra stretch, making sure you get on some more, more protein. What sort of recovery have you found works best for you? For me, um, I don't mind an ice bath. I, everyone's hit and miss with that. I don't mind it if, I, if I'm feeling, if I'm really feeling it after a game, then I would 100% go for one. Um, more like, I like to just go for a nice little sit on the bike, get the legs moving a bit, foam roll, stretch, and then a massage usually is what, is how I would, yeah, no, I think it's just, it's just more relaxing, whereas as much as I love ice baths at times, that it's just effort, it's cold, and then you've got to get in, get out, get changed, and it's just, but it's got to be done, and obviously, you got to up your, uh, up your protein and that after, after games to make sure you're repairing, but yeah, just. On nice nutrition chill. then, pre-match, have you got any meals that are like essential Bethany England pre-match meals? Me, oh, I'm the same. Again, basic, beans on toast, that's my pre-match. I, I, I like- those, Henderson's, any Henderson's? Heinz, Heinz beans. No, oh, but the Henderson's sauce, that's a Sheffield oh, thing. Oh, sorry, no. Come on. I'm not from Sheffield. I know, but it's like a thing. No, sauce, that's not, not a, a bit of me. I'm just basic. Like, give me my beans on beans toast. Beans on toast, bit of cheese. I don't like cheese. Also, really? also, you shouldn't really eat cheese before okay. a game. So just beans on toast. Just beans so on toast, but I also have a pancake, a few pancakes with some fruit. Nice. Like protein pancakes. Both of those. And yeah. then cheat meal after a game. You're done. You're allowed your bad one. Oh. What, what's your order? Do you know what? I love me a Chinese. I absolutely love a Chinese or a saying, pizza, like, but I, I get, oh, I'm, I'm just very beige. I'm a beige girl. Like I'm, I'm talking like? salt and pepper chicken, Ooh. chicken chow mein, yeah. um, a special fried rice and probably some salt and pepper chips, potentially a bit of curry sauce if I'm feeling it. I tell you what, that is like an exceptional cheat meal, I'd say. Do you think? No, like, like it's got everything you want, like a bit of fat, a bit of salt. Yeah, gonna, like, everyone loves chips. And after a game, it's like what you deserve. Yeah, right? I feel like that's that's my yeah. go-to. Well, look, Beth, the main reason we're here, I'm in the Preds, you're in the brand new F50s, yeah. they're unreal, right? Yeah, love them. I really like the colour as well. Yeah, I'm a big, big fan. Yeah. Growing up, were you uh, an F50, F50 girl, Preds? I had you? both, actually. Yeah. I would say I remember when they used to have the Velcro tongue oh, on the yeah. front. I used to they, absolutely they love them. Table. I had a white and black pair. Yeah. Absolutely loved them. They got like little, like it almost looked like um, crystals on, but it weren't quite. And you'd get that. like the, the three different insoles in the... In oh the yeah, 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 I know exactly what you mean. The Honestly, ones. they they were a bit of me, but I, I definitely fluctuated. To be fair, it was whatever my parents would buy me, yeah. but it was mainly the Preds or, or the F50s, yeah. And in terms of your boots, is there anything that you like to, to do to them to make sure that they're they're ready for, for match day? Anything different? Are you like a new pair of boots for a match person or...? No, no, I like to wear mine in and, and, and once I'm in some, I, I try and keep them as long as I can and I'm comfortable in them, but I will always wash them after training, every day after training, clean my boots up, so especially for game day as well, make sure that they're looking... Big fine otherwise, no? Say that again? Fine for dirty boots? Not where we are, but really? I think I think it should I be... I thought that was like a standard issue. Yeah, I feel like this, that's maybe dropped off a bit, but for me it's obviously presentation is key, so I feel like there's not many of our girls that don't present with clean boots, to be fair. And are you, see I love playing in studs, are you soft ground, like if you could choose, would you be in a stud or a mould? Oh, just... I'm a mould all day, I hate studs, yeah. I, 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 that's literally last resort of if I'm slipping to the point where my feet are in puddles, then the studs are coming out. Yeah, fair, I get but it. But I think they're just, not, they're just not as comfortable. Yeah, I love them. Just in case, you know. Yeah. Got to change direction a little bit quicker. I'm a big fan. And if uh, for young boys and girls who are out there who want to make it to the top of professional football, what advice would you give to, to people to, to make it as a professional? I would say you have to accept the sacrifices and know that there's a bigger goal than the short term aim. Beth, appreciate it. That's been Make Me A Pro. Make sure you stay locked into Love All Soccer's channels for more Make Me A Pro episodes in the future.